What's up, YouTube? So, it finally happened. Aaron Hernandez has committed suicide in prison. Okay, so, Aaron Hernandez is the former uh, New England Patriots wide receiver, and he was in prison doing a life sentence for the murder of Odin Floyd. Um, Odin Floyd was allegedly a friend. Apparently, they went to some club together. Odin Floyd said what's up to some crip dude, which... Aaron Hernandez is a blood and he didn't like that and he, he got totally out of whack as gangsters tend to do because they're so full of themselves and kill the guy, him and a couple other friends. But when they went to court, he thought the guys were going to keep it real and stick to the G code and not snitch, but they fingered him. So in the process of investigating this murder, uh, the authorities found out that Aaron Hernandez was connected to two other murders in Boston, which um, just kept escalating into three murders and then three attempted murders. At any rate, he went to a trial for this recently and he was found not guilty of all the counts of murder and attempted murder. And I've been keeping an eye on this character pretty closely since uh, this first unfold because I want to know what type of stupidity it takes for a person to have all these blessings and all these opportunities and you know all this potential and just throw it down the drain simply to be gangster or fit in with a certain group of people or live a certain lifestyle now um the the trial the verdict is also on my page i put that one up as well and um this is not a tragedy this is just living by the gun and dying by the gun you understand me this is not like something you would consider a tragedy but uh if i'm able to which i does not appear that i am i was going to read you a little bit of this article but it does not appear that i'm able to okay so here's the thing about this right um you make your bed you lay down in it okay you want to live a gangster lifestyle this is what a gangster lifestyle involves a bunch of motherfuckers who gas you up egg you on to do crazy shit you know and in the end they run away from you when the consequences come coming down the reason why you don't see people doing this shit every day is because there are consequences for it so when you feel bold and confident and take it up on yourself to do this type of shit just know that you know you're not the baddest motherfucker in the world and other people refuse to do it because it just wasn't worth it and I'm glad to see that he committed suicide because, you know, he killed somebody else. In my opinion, he killed somebody else. And in the court of law, he killed somebody else. And he should not get away with it. It is also my belief that he killed those other people and got away with it. So this is nothing more than poetic justice. This man went from top of the world to the bottom of the world to committing suicide. Why? Because he wanted to be gangster. And his girlfriend stuck by him the whole time. Is she a black chick? Yes. Black chicks love motherfucking gangsters. Um, the average motherfucker, when they go to jail for life sentence, uh, pretty much could hang it up. Not him. He still had bad bitches coming to his court. They crying for him. Like, getting two or three more life sentences is going to make uh, like things harder on him. No, it's not. But anyway, man, this just goes to tell you that that gangster life is not what's up. Don't let them hoes gas you up, boost your head up, believing that you could get more pussy or better quality pussy, you know what I'm saying, linking up with this shit because even though you can, you know what I'm saying, it's still all a trap. The, the It's not worth it. The sacrifice isn't worth it, in my opinion. And um, also, let this also be a lesson to you that for all you dudes like you young dudes that feel like oh i can do whatever i want i'm gonna harm and kill and do whatever i want and i can handle prison as you can see even the toughest of the tough can't handle prison everybody say they're gonna keep their mouth shut on the stand do, <clears throat> do this that, and the other but you know what i'm saying even gang members who are foot millionaire football players can uh stand the pressure so good riddance to aaron hernandez he harmed uh my people and people like me so i don't like him i don't have to feel sorry for him i'm not obligated to feel sorry for him i think he got what he deserved and um shit if you give me all those riches i don't think i could fuck it up that that much killing people by myself or killing people at all but in either case, good riddance to him. Um, I think the world is a better place without him. A lot of people, he was involved in witness intimidation. A lot of people are a lot more safer and a lot more comfortable without him. Uh, check out my video of the verdict. Um, 
on my channel and you would see the victim's family how upset they were when he was found not guilty he was they were crying and they and they left without closure in this drop but now they could have some closure because he killed himself uh, again the justice system does not work that well uh, you can't even rely on it to uh, get some justice so you can only rely on the Almighty I guess to get some poetic justice but anyway good riddance Aaron Hernandez you hurt a lot of people while you were here on earth you offended a lot of people while you were here on earth you disrespected a lot of people while you were here on earth and you did the right thing by taking your own life um, because apparently we couldn't get it right because we're so dysfunctional and caught up in your celebrity that we wouldn't dare accuse you of being a wrongdoer we saved those accusations for black guys but anyway um, you did us all a favor, and um, good riddance, man. Kids, let that be a lesson to you. Prison can break down anybody. You'll find yourself hanging yourself. So if you think that hoe at the club is worth it, you know what I'm saying, clowning the motherfucker, putting the motherfucker on Facebook is worth it, go ahead. Keep up with the antics. All you motherfuckers in Chicago, keep up with the antics. All right? Look at Bobby Schmurter. He was a straight, organized crime boss. Now he's in prison crying like a little bitch. He's in protective custody. Anyway, that's all I got for now, man. Thanks for watching. Definitely subscribe and check out my new channel. It's called Black Guys Matter. And basically, it's a compilation of all the positive black guys out there moving and shaking in the country right now. So check it out. It's hashtag Black Guys Matter. No spaces. And definitely subscribe to that one. Peace.